so last we left off we were exploring route two yeah i feel like i should still go back to the town though or to the town we actually haven't been there yet what is this pikachu and it seems very angry wait is it wearing a ribbon pikachu -chan! oh my god i love the sound effects earlier with the pokeball and now pikachu they got the anime sounds Pikachon! Who is this though? I don't... No. Oh, it's not here! Pikachon! Yeah, I think I would rather just avoid that trainer. At least for now. But here we are, finally in Erato Town. I guess we'll read a little bit. Takamatsu Castle, now turned into a Pokemon gym. It was home for a short period to Soichi Takamatsu, who came from distant lands. Takamatsu settled in this valley with the permission of Blake as an alliance. Later, his lust for power led him to try to take over the entire region. What the hell? <laughs> he conquered and made his home in Dahlia City beyond the mountains and plunged Ingeron into a terrible war against Blake? Oh, Blake the first. That's what... Okay, I thought it was like I, like a last name. Oh my god, this is crazy, bro. It is said that the guardian spirits of their Pokemon Ninetales and Arcanine respectively protect their trainers' tombs there to this day. Damn, a lot of history in this region. I love it. I wonder what it might actually be based on. Like, is this region in Japan or based on Japan? I mean, obviously this town is, but they just said, like, there's, like, two conflicting... Uh, I don't know what the word is, but... Factions, I guess? Like, a guy that came from Japan or, like, a Japanese Pokemon region over here and fought with the guy that was already here. So... Probably this region itself is not in Japan, but... Hmm, I don't know why that makes me think of, like, Brazil, because I've heard there's a lot of, like, Japanese people there. Do you know Sazbuck? Well, this is the Ingeron regional version of that Pokemon. Only some dearly end up turning into them. It's said that they acquire the Dragon type? Yo! Wait, hold up, can I see it? Oh my god, he doesn't... Okay, I thought maybe he was going to show us a picture at least. Some people say it only comes out at night to feed on some blue flowers that only bloom in the moonlight. Amazing, right? If you see it around, could you take a photo for me? I promise I'll reward you. Yo, I'll do you one better, bro. I'm gonna catch one myself. Not to give it to you, of course, but like... A dragon-type sauzebug, bro? That sounds sick. Also, what what is this? Can, okay. Oh, is this a move relearner? Okay. Yeah, we're pretty early in the game, so... Not a lot of moves to relearn. Getting kind of tired, to be honest. So I think I'll probably wrap it up soon and continue playing this tomorrow. Which I guess for those of you guys watching this on the second channel, uh, we're probably already in episode two, so it doesn't matter what... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a bit tense. This kid who looks almost exactly like me decided to stand right next to me. I'm getting a bad vibe. Although, bro, just look at his eyes. <laughs> Come on. You're telling me you really don't know what Ditto is? All right, cool. We found one. That's not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> but I love that. Reminds me of Ditto in the Detective Pikachu movie. How it like turned into a human. That is so weird. But hey, it's canon in my head. So I love that they referenced that or that they, they did that in this game. Whoa, yo, yo, yo. What is that? Oh my god, what? Oh, pfft. that's one of the ditto. Okay. I thought for a second it was a special form of ghastly. But, nope. It's just one of the missing ditto. Okay. Okay, so it's not by the exit. So I'm thinking we got to go back to where we fought those scientists earlier. Or maybe not? Aha! There we go. <laughs> oh my god, look at that little phantom. Ditto, Ditto's just one of the best Pokemon, let's be real. At least all the merch that's come out of it. Like, I think Pokemon thinks Ditto is one of the best Pokemon, for sure. Anyway, that's the third one, so I guess we'll head back to that girl now. Oh my goodness, look at them! Not bad, not bad at all for a boy with such a silly- Excuse me? What'd you call me? <laughs> How dare you? Are you waiting for me to give you- Yeah! I'm just a kid. I'm not going to give you any of my allowance. Oh my god. Okay. Well. Hey, Granny. I didn't lose the ditto you left me or anything, huh? 
You think I haven't seen everything from the window? Your grandmother knows everything. Oh, she been caught. A grim snarl knows more because it's old, not because it's a grim snarl, my dear. You don't know how sorry I am that my granddaughter has bottled you like this. Still, she has a lot to learn. You deserve a well-earned reward. My little ditto are very mischievous and love to escape. Although nowadays we don't need so many in the daycare. How about taking one of these little ones with you? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, I mean, probably not gonna use. Oh, but that means we can actually breed Pokemon now. Like if we wanted better natures and stuff. I kind of wish it was daytime. But then again, there was like some kind of event that only happens at night, right? Oh, there's apricorns in this game. Okay, so we can make uh, Kurt Balls, I'm guessing, at some point. Oh yeah, this lady wants us to find Igoron. Oh wait, this is it. Uh, they say it comes out at night to eat some blue flowers. So I guess before it turns nighttime, I want to see if we can find these blue flowers that she's referencing. And also, I guess we can just explore the rest of the town, because it is quite large. Oh my god, look at this gym, bro. This is so sick. Sweet Pokemon can also be strong. Oh wait, is it a fairy gym? Hello, the gym leader's not here at the moment. Sorry for the inconvenience. Come back later. What? That's it? Not even going to tell us where the gym leader's at or when they'll be back? I guess. That line looks kind of weird. It looks like a graphic glitch, but I think it's like a string that's coming down from the top of the gym which is actually very accurate oh what the heck there's a deerling here okay maybe that sauce buck could be nearby then and of course we can't run away i'm actually curious though what other pokemon might be in this route we haven't found a lot of them specifically at nighttime there's one pokemon still and then there's some that we can get only from fishing but i don't actually have a fishing rod and also when does it turn nighttime officially i'm guessing at 20 so in a couple of minutes it will officially be night and we can look for that final Pokemon, as well as the Dragon Saws Buck. But, uh, we still need to find those blue flowers, which I'm definitely not seeing, at least in town. What the heck is this, though? It said Alfareria? I don't know what that means. Uh, dust, dust, and more dust. There is so much detail in this, dude. Like, look at the little food bowls. Everyone's doing something, even the ball toy. Lately, the store is a mess. So many people come by that my husband and I don't even have time to clean it. Art has to shine, don't you think? I know there's a type of Pokemon that's said to clean its tracks with its tail. Oh my god, we did see a Minchino back in the previous route. So I guess if we caught one and showed it to this lady, then uh, I'm sure it's a much more adorable Pokemon than my husband's Baltoy. Dang, why is she shading Baltoy for no reason? <laughs> come on. I'm guessing this is the husband over here. Is he making some kind of like ramen? Or maybe he's making bowls for the ramen. This definitely looks like it's a ramen shop. This clay is still fresh and I've stained my suit. Ugh, I shouldn't have come wearing white. Yeah, that's on you, bro. Definitely seems like a you problem. If you notice, each piece is unique as they're handmade by the master craftsman. He's been dedicated to this all his life and you can see the passion with which he works in. This is so cool, like... This whole town, since I've been to Japan now, I can attest, it is a very, uh, what's the word? Accurate? The look of this whole town definitely is giving Kyoto or Kanazawa vibes. With like the blend of, uh, traditional and modern. Like you still have the very traditional buildings, but you can see there's like an AC right there. And also all the clotheslines hanging and like the lanterns and stuff. I mean, I guess the lanterns are a little extra now that it's nighttime, but... This is just so dope, dude. There's so much detail in every little corner. But I'm still not seeing the uh, blue flowers. I do see a tarantula, though, hanging from the tree, which is pretty cute. Now that it's nighttime, though, we need to figure out what that final Pokemon is. So I guess we'll just keep looking around. Yeah, we can just go right over this tarantula. So maybe that, like, weird glitch with the Teddy Ursa earlier wasn't actually a glitch. It's just those background Pokemon. Oh! Well, look at that. I'm guessing Nickit is the final piece of the puzzle there. Not exactly a Pokemon I want to catch, but yeah, that fills out our Dex Nav, except for, of course, the Pokemon you can only get by fishing, which I don't think we've gotten a fishing rod yet. Uh, so I'm going to head back to the previous route, and I think there's some new Pokemon at nighttime there too. Plus, we got to catch that Minchino, and also I'm still looking for those blue flowers. 
There's no other new Pokemon in this route either, and Minchino's only in daytime, of course! So we can't actually even catch a Minchino now. Oh, what the heck? There's new trainers at nighttime, okay. Is this a cop? We got Wallace! Not the exact same cop we saw earlier, though I guess that was more of like a... Detective, right? But I just realized I didn't heal my Pokemon, and we've got Fanta up first, which is not great against a Growlithe. Oh wait! Never mind, my Pokemon are healed, it's just that we have the egg. That's why one of our little Pokeballs is grayed out. Okay, well, let's have Birdo deal with this, hit him with a little intimidation tactic. Ah, that don't hurt me one bit. I just realized my glasses completely reflect the game. Is that distracting for you guys? Let me know in the comments. I, I can, I guess, take off my glasses? I don't really need them. Like, I only really need my glasses to see from far away, but... I don't know, sometimes I like wearing them. I feel like, even though my screen is pretty close to my face right now, it does help a little bit, especially in a game like this where it has a lot of little details. And it looks like we got another cop patrolling the streets here. Hey, I'll take the experience, all right? I definitely want to get, like, Birdo to evolve before the gym, like I said. Oh, the school is actually closed at nighttime now. Dang, I was actually gonna explore the school a little bit, but, uh, never mind. I wonder if there's a way to just wait until nighttime or like rest. Maybe there's like a hotel or some kind of bed. Cause yeah, there's a lot that we can't do at night right now. Oh wait, is this, or was this open before? I have so much work in New Urania that when I get home, all I want to do is sleep and sleep. My family's worried, but you know how I solve the sleepiness with some old gateau. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I feel like that only works for Pokemon. But, uh, maybe it works on him, or maybe that guy is a Pokemon. Maybe it's a Ditto, actually, you never know. Would you like me to give a treat to one of your Pokemon? You have no idea how happy it makes them. Oh, heck yeah. Put it first in your team? All right, so I think if we just uh, click this button until Eevee is first, does that actually... Oh, nice, it does. Okay, so we got Jane up first in the party. And I definitely, like, I don't know still if Eevee evolves by happiness in this game, but... Just in case, we're definitely going to give that to Eevee. What else is in this house? You got a little girl and a Toxel. Or maybe she's not so little, because when she was little, she loved Pikachu, but now she likes Toxel much more. Oh my god, that reminds me. We met, like, a girl that was chasing after a Pikachu with a ribbon, right? What the heck happened with that? Maybe that's actually the next quest we've got to do, because the gym leader is not even at the gym, so... I guess we'll head into this cave? We got Hesiod Mountain, and yep. Hey you, let go of Pikachan. Shut up, little brat. This Pokemon's mine now. I'm sure the boss will give me a good bonus if I bring him a Pikachu like the ones he asked for his experiments. What do you mean experiment? Don't lay a finger on her. Come on, face me then. Face me in my Cat if you care so much about your stupid Pikachu. Yo, that Cat looks messed up. What's black and red and blue all over? A Toracat with coronavirus, duh. Look at it. It's, dude. I feel so bad for these Pokemon. What am I gonna do without Pikachu? Well, I'm coming. Don't you worry. Looks like there's some kind of interesting metal in the wall. If only I had something to extract it with. Something like that little guy right there. He's literally digging into the wall. What the heck? Oh. Wait, did that Rock and Roller just walk on up to us, or was that just a coincidence? Because there definitely was a Rock and Roller. Oh, okay. I guess some of the Pokemon do actually like, or they're they're overworld encounters, like this Wubat right here. Yeah. All right, that's interesting. Now I really wonder why that Teddy Ursa, and I guess that Tarantula from earlier, when we walked up to them. I don't know if those are meant to be encounters or just background decorations. Oh my god, we got a roly-poly over here, too! It's actually really clutch that Birdo has Intimidate, because most of the Pokemon we've been fighting so far are all physical attackers, so... Just switching in Birdo, get the Intimidate off is... really good. Didn't expect you to be this strong, to be honest. Okay. I haven't seen that little Pokemon that's digging right there, though. Like, in the wild, we haven't been able to catch it yet. Uh, that, I'm gonna assume, is the exit of the cave, and we're trying to get to Pikachon, so... Wait, is this a healer? I'm a bit bored, so if you beat me in battle, I'll heal your po oh, okay, yeah. I'm down. Eevee does actually need a little healing right now, so... Uh, let's take down Tanya! And Sawaddle! 
and a Wubat, which thankfully we do have Bite, so should be a little bit easier to take down. But yeah, anyone else can relate to that? Let me know in the comments. Do you usually battle every single trainer that you run across? Or do you like skip trainer encounters? I guess it really depends if I'm like recording it for YouTube too. I mean, with this game, as you can see, I'm like editing a lot of the battles out, which helps with like progressing faster. But uh, looks like this path is blocked. But look at that Snorlax over there. Oh my god, he's having a little picnic. All right, we got to see what's up with that. Though I guess you can just real quick heal up again. Thank you, thank you. And oh, well. I was trying to avoid wild trainers. I mean, wild Pokemon. Yee-hoo! Haha, I love doing that. Wait, what? Oh, Echo! I want to get as much experience as possible on Pidgey, but there's not many Pokemon that are really a good matchup for Pidgey here. Nom nom nom. What? You want to battle me? But you don't even have a single badge. And you've gotten five? Five badges? That's crazy! There's no way I'm going to remember that this guy is here by the time I have five badges, bro. Hey, a trainer. You're a trainer, right? Could you help me, please? That guy in the black coat wants to steal my Pokemon. Well, I don't have any with energy to face him. Oh, you should have fought Tanya. She would have healed you right up. Could you do me a favor and face him for me? I don't want him to take my little pikachu -on. Well, maybe you shouldn't be calling your Pikachu that. And then you wouldn't be getting in little messes like this. But I'm down. I'm really curious about this Tora Cat. Ariel, go ahead! Beat that mad scientist! Alright, I got you. We got Kudo! Kudos to the whoever made the battle theme for this game. Like, this is... Actually, isn't this Team Plasma? Or wait, no, this is Team Flare, right? It's like a remix of the Team Flare theme from X and Y. So again, little reminder of... Oh my god, why did that... Do so little damage? What?! Is this Toracat just, like, insanely beefed up? What the hell? Like, I know that these, like, sick Pokemon are supposed to be stronger, but jeez. Maybe I should have been using Bite earlier, because that seemed to do way more damage. All right. Well, now that we're burned, though, I'm definitely switching over to Birdo, who can hopefully do a little bit more. I mean, the Intimidate, like I was saying earlier, definitely helps a lot. In fact, I'm going to go for Beat Up, since we have a full team of six. Actually, no, I don't think the egg counts. That would be weird if the egg hit him too. But, I mean, with a critical hit... Oh, we might still not finish it. Oh, come on, really? Alright, well, at least we have quick attack. But yeah, the egg did definitely... <laughs> that would be weird if we got a beat up from the egg. Like, the egg just throws itself at the enemy. Great! You sure gave him a beating? Oh my god, literally, I used beat up. How did you know? Ugh, this can't be! Torcat, return! pikachu please! It's not your fault that guy beat us! We both got too confident. Maybe winning all the time got to our heads! Aww. If you don't want us to get defeated again, then we'll just keep battling together in the gym! Battling so much will make us strong, and we'll gain great renown among the Ingaran gym leaders. Okay, good. I actually had a feeling maybe she's the first gym leader. I'm glad she's not, because... I mean, look at her. She doesn't exactly exude gym leader energy, no offense. Yes, everything will be all right, pikachu -chan. Return! Damn, what do I tell the boss now? And you, you better get out of here if you don't want me to call the police, you petty thief! The police are literally right outside, like... I feel that he would definitely run into them. But I guess not. What? You wanted to ask the scientist something about his Pokémon? Jeez, you should have said so earlier! I don't think you'll find him now. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, by the way. I haven't introduced myself, have I? I'm Miku! Oh my... I should have freaking guessed, bro. She got the pony... The, the blue ponytails! It was so obvious! <laughs> I hope you'll stop by there later so I can face you. I can't wait to see if you're as strong as you look. See you later, okay? Well... I'm sure someone finds that cute. Not me, though. But it was cool seeing the Hatsune Miku collab with Pokemon. Like, all the different art styles they did. Or, like, just different artwork of Miku as different Pokemon trainers. What the heck? There's a small tree blocking the- what? Come on! This music though, oh my god. Just so nostalgia! Oh, yo, wait! Hold up! Finally we got the new Pokemon! What the heck, yo! 
It's Drillbur! But he's looking a little different. I guess I should say a lot different. I don't know if this is a regional form or if this is like corrupted or infected or whatever the heck the proper term is for that uh, sickness that's going around because he's got like a blue eye, bro. <laughs> like he got punched. What? Oh, we missed. Okay. I didn't know exactly what was going on there, but holy. Bro, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. No, please, no. Dude, really? Not only does it get multiple hits, but also a crit. Come on. Actually, do I have anyone with like status ailments? Probably not, right? I don't want to accidentally kill this thing. I guess we'll go Poppy. And Fury Cutter definitely shouldn't kill it. Actually, that's not even very effective. All right. That works. I really hope I have Pokeballs, actually. I don't... I haven't been paying attention. And I know we didn't get that many. Yeah, we got two left. So hopefully... This thing is not too tough to catch. Of course. Of course. Okay, well, I know that the, the, the Great Ball should work. Oh my god, I wish there were save states, dude. <laughs> I am one person that definitely, like... I don't feel bad at all about using save states. Maybe that's another controversial take. But, like, if I was playing on emulator right now... 100% I'm save stating right there just to make sure it didn't break out of the ball, but it didn't so we're good We got the ground and fighting type version of Drillbur. Oh nice. We can add the Pokemon straight to our party. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna replace Fanta since uh, I, I don't know I guess Phantom like usually evolves by trade uh, before heading back to town I want to see if we can spot these blue flowers you keep hearing about Wait, what the heck? Excuse me? I didn't even know that was a trainer, bro. He's like hiding in the bushes. Okay, we got Aiden, aka Sly Cooper. <laughs> That's so sick, dude. I love Sly Cooper. Not as much as Ratchet and Clank. That was always my favorite Sony legend growing up. I'm still trying to find those blue flowers, but I guess... Oh, frick. Well... I definitely should have gone to heal up because Eevee is dead, which means... She's not getting any XP. Bro, why is this guy yapping so much? What the hell? Seriously, how much do you gotta say? Oh my god. Alright, we get it, man. You don't like your life. Maybe try to do something else. Wait, what the heck is this, huh? I didn't even know this was all here. Hello, it's Sophie again. Have you seen those statues? It's amazing to finally see them with my own eyes. Hey, you again. Have you come to hear the story of the place we're in? Oh, heck yeah. I mean, I see nine tails. I'm immediately hooked. Oh, and we get the music again, too. Okay. Do you see all those clay statues? There are plenty of them all around this area surrounding Arado Town. Some people find them creepy because, to be honest, I feel like I'm being watched all the time. Well, back to what I was saying. The residents of Arado Town make those statues once a year during a special celebration. Blue flowers. <gasps> Wait, yo, it's right there. What? There's like multiple of them! They make them in honor of Midori Takamatsu, the heroine who stopped the Ingeron War, and for whom the temple atop the hill was built for. Every year on a spring day, the people of Arado Town, and anyone who wants to participate in the festivity, create a clay doll that represents her figure. Then they leave them in a beautiful spot nearby, under a tree, while making a wish, so it slips through the roots and reaches Midori in the afterlife. Interesting, interesting. What's that got to do with Ninetales, though? In the past, the Ingarians used to ask for no roars to rise again and for peace to always reign over the lands. Even if you can't see them, there are many statues among the trees. It's a tradition that has been repeated for centuries. It's very beautiful to see statuettes surrounded by pink petals under the faint moonlight filtering through the branches. Tell me it's not fascinating and lie to me. I love these curiosities. Yeah, we can see that. Thank you for listening to me. No, seriously. It's a true pleasure to find someone who loves history like I do. Hope we meet again. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, it was a cool story and all, but I'm really just here for the freaking Saws book, dude. Look. Yo. That's so sick. I'm gonna see if I can take a picture of them. Oh, yeah. I forgot we have a smartphone. Oh, uh, no. the no Bro, you can turn that off. What? I'm pretty sure by default, it is turned off, so I... All right, he's one of those that accidentally has the flash on, or I guess in this case, the, the shutter sound. 
According to the Dex Nav, there's the same Pokemon as the original Route 2, so... Yeah, I'm not sure if maybe just Deerling evolves into Sawsbuck, or that Sawsbuck in this game, no matter what. Because we've only been finding the Fall version of Deerling, so... I don't know, maybe I'll catch one just in case. I mean, I, I doubt we'll even get it high enough level to evolve it. <gasps> what? Yo, what the heck? Oh my god, wait, are they ghosts? Dude, we can't even interact with them. That is so sick, though. Do I take the spiritual bell? I mean, bro, that Arcanine looks insane, but... <sighs> I'm a Ninetales stan through and through. I feel like I have to go for Ninetales. Oh, uh, I'm so conflicted, man. I, I can't deny the Arcanine does look cooler. But okay, fine. I gotta stick with my gut here. And take the spiritual scarf. An ancient handkerchief that exudes intense spiritual energy. Oh, What was that little sound effect? Okay. Here lie Midori and Ethan Blake, kings of Ingeron and providers of Concord. May your spirits dance in the beyond with the same calm you restored to the region. These lands and their people will always be in your debt. Go in peace, for peace you leave. Okay, can we... Oh, nice, we can just walk up to them now. Huh. I'm really curious. I mean, I'm thinking maybe in a future beta or something, these will be catchable. Because again, I'm not really sure how long this first demo is, but considering it is the first demo, I can't imagine it's like too long. Uh, so we're probably not going to get those Pokemon, but those are sick, dude. If those are like the cover legendaries for this game, I would not be mad. Arcanine and Ninetales, absolute legends. Literally, like, Arcanine is the legendary Pokemon, and Ninetales, I mean, it's Kyubi. It's like one of the legendary yokai. But anyway, uh, let's go back to the Pokemon Center now. And I guess show that lady the picture that we took. Maybe she'll tell us how we can catch one ourselves. Wow, they're beautiful. Look at those pinkish eyes and those curved horns, and how their petals shine in the lantern light. I mean, honestly, from the sprite work, I didn't think that's what they looked like, but that's pretty sick. They literally are like deer dragons. They look like they're straight out of a dream. I give you my sincerest thanks, really. I never thought I would see them. Here, take this, you've earned it. Okay, we got Trailblaze. Not bad, not bad. I'm sure a trainer like you can put it to good use, and who knows, if you ever get an Inkeron Sawsbuck, you can show it to them. Huh. Maybe that's a hint? That's how it evolves or something? Like, you gotta teach a Deerling Trailblaze? Probably not. What the heck, Chansey? What you getting all excited about over there? I mean, that's kinda cool though. Yo! Does Nurse Joy always bow? If she does, I've honestly never noticed. But, that's, that's pretty cool. Alright, so I think now the gym leader should be back in the gym. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to train up anymore at the trainer school. And let me see my team. Our highest is level 13. Yeah, it's not like Birdo was even close to evolving. I believe that's level 18. As for Jane, I have no idea, but I'm gonna keep Birdo up first. And never mind, it's closed at night. Okay, well, there's gotta be some way that you can just rest, right? Like, I think up here is just the shop. But, I mean, there are some beds. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I guess I'll make it 8 a.m.? That seems like a good time to wake up. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> I know that's like the usual sleep song or sound, but is having nightmares tonight. All right. Dang. For 8 a.m., it is still very dark out. So before uh, going to the gym, I do want to check out the trainer school. And I guess you can also catch that Minchino for the side quest, at least. Wait, are the kids even here yet? Is it too early? Oh my god. I should have slept longer, bro. 8 a.m., though? Usually school starts at, like, 7, no? At least my school would start at, like, 7.30. Oh, wait! It did start. Huh. Never mind, they're just actually in class right now. Okay, that makes more sense. This is so cute, though. Look at the little lockers with the stickers. Oh my god, I just, this game is so detailed, man. Look at this, they even got a little banner for their, like, uh, what is it called? Like, mascot or team or whatever. A lot of different classrooms, but it doesn't look like 
at least because of the time we can't like just barge into class like yo what if i'm trying to learn though it's the teacher's lounge clearly i don't have permission to be here bro we can do what we want all right this is my school <laughs> Ooh, there's like a battling class too man come on well what time does it have to be then for me to attend class Oh wait, I just remembered I don't have any more Pokeballs, so actually we should head back and since we're here, uh, we might as well sleep a little bit more, maybe make it after school time, might as well do 10 so we can get that Premier Ball too. Ooh, the shopkeepers have joined to reward our treat. yo, we got a freaking, okay, nice, get a little stamp card, after buying 6 times I guess we'll get something special. But yeah, let's go ahead and sleep until, I want to say like, 2 p.m. is usually when school ends. Yeah. I'm quite surprised our egg hasn't hatched yet either. Like, bro, I gotta check at least. Is this thing even close to hatching? Oh, it's in Spanish. <laughs> Never mind, it's not all in Spanish. I just realized Miku was wearing a school outfit too, so I guess she's also a student. Which I never got. Like, how the frick are they making students gym leaders? You'd think, you know, they would pick someone a little bit, uh, with more experience, but, uh, <laughs> we got the little preschoolers over here. That's cute. They got their little pokey dolls. Alright, maybe we should talk to some of the teachers. If there even are any teachers. Yo, can I not get through? Yo, what the hell? Huh? There's like a trash can back there. Bro, if that trash can have leftovers, I swear. Anyway, can we now go into teacher's lounge? Bro- what the heck? I can't do anything. What's the point of this school? If I can't learn nothing. Hello, it's been a while. What? Who is- I know you? No, I don't- You were the top student in the whole school alongside Levi- Wait! Yo! We can get a little bit of our memory back here. Okay. So I guess we weren't evil then. <laughs> what do you mean, although in your case I know- What? What am I supposed to have forgotten? Okay, well, I'm glad we were able to get at least one little hint of our memory back. So we used to be a student. And what's up with this computer? I was reading it. It said... Oh, I can't read it anymore. What the hell? Oh, it was like the note on the floor. Never mind. It says something about Errato 01. Hmm. Oh, look at that. There is stuff in the trash can. Hell yeah. I'm glad this wasn't a complete waste. Uh, why is it that when you're actually looking for something, it just doesn't want to pop up no matter what? It's like when I don't want Minchino, of course it doesn't pop up. Like with the Phantom earlier too. Alright, I'm going to put it in my head that I want to catch a Pancham instead. And then maybe that'll make Minchino pop up. Oh my... <laughs> I wish I like edited that and it was fake. But no, this actually is how it works. I, I don't know, man. My life is weird sometimes with the coincidences. But look, we got Minchino, that's what matters. Just hopefully we don't... One shot it. Oh, nice! Another one popped up not too long after. But I'm really scared of just one-shotting this thing again, dude. Like, do I just go for... Hey, we don't even have tackle. And there we go! We got... Poncho! Shout out to the real ones if you guys remember Poncho from back in the day. My Pokemon Black and White playthrough. Oh yeah, here we go. Alfareria. Which I guess means potty, pottery house? I, I don't... I've never heard that word in Spanish. But, uh... I got your Minchino. Problem is, it's in the PC, so I guess we gotta pull it out. But thankfully, you can use the PC wherever in this game. That's... honestly... That has been one of the best, like, additions in recent Pokemon games. And I'm glad that more fan games are starting to incorporate it, too. So, yeah, I got Minchino. Yo, do I really have to have it up first? Come on. It's right there! Bro, really? It uses its tail as a broom and spends the day sweeping and sweeping. Yeah, what the hell? There's no way it's any other Pokemon than... Unless it's like Nickit? Oh, we can't even read its Pokedex entry unless we catch it. But I mean, it also has a weird like sweep-like tail. <sighs> That'd be so weird, man. Okay, thank goodness it's at least the very first Pokemon to pop up. But can we actually catch it without killing it, please? Like, I don't want to use a bug move just in case, so bubble it is. Oh, that does nothing. I don't even want this thing anymore. And I'm not just saying that so it'll stay in the ball, because reverse psychology always works, baby. <laughs> well, if this isn't it, then I don't know, bro. 
It doesn't say anything about its tail in the Pokedex. So I'm just really confused, but... Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll add you onto the team. Yeah, wh why not? I'm sorry, Foxy guy. You're out of here. Please tell me. Oh, another one. Hello. If this isn't it, then I really have no idea. Oh my god. Seriously! Would anyone have guessed it was Nickit from the clue that the lady gave? Like, 9 out of 10 times, I would think Mancino. The only reason, I guess, is because it said something about mischief. But anyway, yeah, you you can have that. I don't even... I never did want Nickit, actually. You're so pretty. Yes, sir. Very pretty. Would you help me clean the dust in the store? I'll try to help as much as I can, okay? And then we'll have some berry mochis. Hey, what about me, though? Can I get some mochi? Oh, boy. I think that Nickit and I will become friends soon. For now, it's time to give you a prize. So, here. Yeah. Rose Incense. Strengthens grass-type moves. Ooh, okay. I'll take that. My husband made the container. I paint them. And a friend of mine prepares the incense with the flowers from the cherry trees that surround a rato town. Eh, it's not the craziest reward, but I guess we do have a couple of... Well, no, we have Phantom is like our only grass type. So, at least we do have one Pokemon that can make use of it. But yeah, now I believe we should be able to take on the gym. But I just realized it's going to be closed because it's nighttime, so... The next day. I'm still surprised the egg has not hatched yet. Oh, it's making noises. Okay, hold up. I guess one last thing before we take on the gym. I want this egg to hatch. And also, I guess we'll put Phantom back onto the team since it's our only grass type. I don't know if we should take Drillbur too. I mean, I guess it depends on what type the gym is. Uh, so yeah, let's go head over there and find out. And hopefully on the way, our egg can hatch. Or wait, no, I need reverse psychology. So man, oh, this egg, I'm over it. I don't even want the egg anymore. Like, I don't care what is in there. Honestly, do you guys care? No, right? It's just an egg. Like, what? Is it going to be a Togepi? We don't want a Togepi. Frick, the reverse psychology is not working. Uh. Uh. Hey! <laughs> Look at that. Just had a couple more steps. And. It's Vulpix? Yes! I love Vulpix. Oh, I'm so happy. And it's a female. Okay, well, you already know. Any game that I can put Fabi onto the squad is a good game in my eyes. Though, to be honest, I'm a little nervous that maybe this gym is like the final thing in this first beta or first demo. I mean, there's got to be at least a little bit more, right? Yo, this place is sick. What? What's up, buddy? Be careful with Miku. She's like the muffins my mom makes. Sweet on the outside and tough on the inside. Enneagram, the gym leaders don't specialize in specific Pokemon. Oh, that's what I was thinking too when we saw Miku earlier. They have Pokemon that best fit their style. And if you want to know what the test is about, don't worry. I'll know the girl behind the table will explain it very well once you sit down. Interesting. I guess we have something a little closer to like the Pokemon League and Scarlet and Violet. Oh, I love that our trainer actually sits down too. Welcome to the gym, Challenger. Look around, look around. Got a bunch of berries, yeah, berry baskets, with which you'll have to prepare tea for your opponents. But that's not all. Each of us will ask you for a specific color and flavor that you can only get by combining three of them. If you get it right, you'll make some good tea and be able to continue without problem. But if you get it wrong, you'll have to face us. I mean, <laughs> I kind of want some experience, especially for our new Vulpix, who's literally level one. So the tea I've chosen must be orange and have the fiery spirit of a Moltres. Got it. Well, time to find the three ingredients to prepare the tea. Okay, so I'm guessing we need something spicy then? Because she wants fiery, but then also like orange. So I guess we do Lepa Berries. Yeah, the color is orange and the small sign says it adapts to any palette. Sure, I guess. So now we got to find something that's like flavor adapts to any palette. No, we need something like spicy. Because she said something like that uh fiery as a mole trace even though like i said i kind of also want to get it wrong just so we have to fight the trainers is it this this flavor is sweet no definitely not it's got to be these bro come on it's red and it's spicy okay yeah so we got cherry berry 
But what should the final flavor be? We got yellow. Uh, sure. Yeah, that would be a red and a yellow, which makes orange. And then we have an actually orange berry. So that should make some orange spicy tea. I hope. Boil the water. And, bro, this is actually taking as long as tea takes to, to make in real life. What? Nah, there's no way. Come on. How could you make such a horrible combination? What do you mean? Alright, well, I was actually trying to get it right, but... F it. I, I did say I want the experience, too, so... Let's fight Alma! I did not pay attention at all to what the heck that guy wanted, but I saw blue and I saw heaven. So, I mean, let's be real. I don't... <laughs> I made something absolutely disgusting last time, so... It doesn't even matter if I pick it right. Revival herbs. They don't color the water, but leave a bitter taste. Oh. I mean, dude, I don't know, man. This seems very complicated. Great. I already have three ingredients, so... Mash them up. Boil the water. Yeah, oh my god. It actually just takes this long every time. Okay. Oh, hey, it's actually blue. Okay, did we actually get it right even though I wa Dude, I wasn't even trying that time and I got it right. Like, I literally was not even paying attention. Other than he said heaven and I saw the color blue. But wait, oh my god, I can't even fight him now. Well, that just goes to show, man. I was talking a lot about, like, reverse psychology last episode. How when I want a certain Pokemon, you gotta think about the opposite for it to work. And like, literally this time, I was trying to fail it, and we end up getting it right, so... Yeah, I don't know. This time though, for sure, there's no way I get it right, cause... I made sure not to pay attention at all. Other than something about a bitter aftertaste, which like, this one says, it leaves a bitter flavor. So who knows, maybe I get it right twice in a row. Although I literally made the same tea as before, so there, there's no way, right? Boil the water. And, okay. Thank goodness, we got gunk. <laughs> now that just don't even make sense either. Like, how the frick do you get black gunk from just mixing up berries? Like, I've made a lot of smoothies in my life, not exactly tea, but... Even when I try to put some random weird stuff into my smoothies, they never end up like black gunk. Alright, go get him, Drillber! Yo, he actually looks so sick with the little mohawk. And we just learned low kick, which might not be the greatest against Mancino, because... Wait, no, is low kick the one that works off how heavy the enemy is, or...? Oh my god, of course. Well, our only male Pokémon... And we just so happen to get infatuated. Oh, come on, Drillbird. It's because I didn't give you a nickname, isn't it? I knew I should have nicknamed you. You know what? After this, though, I'll remember to nickname it. Because it's pretty freaking cute with a little mohawk and just the design. I really dig. But come on, please tell me we can hit one double edge, bro. Please, just one is all we need. Three times in a row. Okay. Is it just me? Or do I feel like infatuation? It's like way worse than confusion. Or paralysis. Even though, according to, I think, the Pokemon Wiki or, like, Bulbapedia or whatever, it's supposed to be 50-50 chance. We missed, like, five times in a row there. And also, just in general, in previous Pokemon games, I feel like I miss 90% of the time if my Pokemon's infatuated. But before we fight Miku, I feel like... Well, no, I don't feel like. I know we should definitely go heal up. And I don't think that guy was going to do it for us. So we got to go walk all the way back through this dojo. All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> you finally arrived. Once again, thanks for helping me with Pikachu-chan. You've been very kind. But anyway, you've come here for a reason, which is to defeat me. Don't think I'll make it easy on you. The challenger, Eddie, still doesn't have any gym badges. Then I know just which Pokemon to use. Let the battle begin. Oh, she's gonna use Pikachu, okay. I was actually thinking about leading off with Drillbur since it's still at least half ground type, but I chose Birdo the Pidgey instead. Oh, frick, I forgot to nickname my Drillbur too. Oh wait, she leads off with Sawaddle. Okay, that's actually great. The Intimidate, I don't think really matters too much, but we got Winning Attack. That's that's what really matters here, so... Uh, 
Kind of surprised that did less than half HP, but all right, that's fine with me. Does she got any potions though? That's the real question here. Of course. I don't know why I always end up using like a weaker move when the enemy has like a little sliver of health left. I feel like it's like a disrespect thing. Like I should have just gone wing attack again, but I mean in the end it doesn't matter, right? Like eventually we will take it down. But she still got two more Pokemon. So we'll see if the next one is still good for Birdo to take down. Oh, I didn't even read what it was. Oh my god, it's Pikachu! No! I should have switched out. Alright, fine. Before Birdo dies, or maybe not. Okay. Well, <laughs> I thought maybe we could like get our beat up before Birdo went down, but we actually were slower than Pikachu. Oh, all we have is Mud Slap. And this thing is probably also. Wait, no, it's not half fairy type. It's just a regular Pikachu. Because as we've seen in this game, a lot of Pokemon seem to just have like custom little bits of clothing or like accessories, I guess. So this Pikachu is still just a regular Pikachu as far as I know, just pure electric type. Uh, but with a little ribbon and scarf and also it's got a little curl on its hair. That's kind of cute. Come on, man. We got three accuracy drops and yet somehow it is just... Okay, there we go. Finally, it's going to miss one of its quick attacks. Thank goodness. Because we were kind of in trouble there with Drillbird. Can we get another miss? Like, I want Drillbird to actually win this battle. Oh, hell yeah. It misses the faint too. Love to see it. Please don't use another potion. I beg of thee. Again, I don't know why I do this, but like, I want to go for a different move for the finishing job here. And it's Double Edge, which in this game for some reason is a multi-hit move. But just one is enough to finish it. And we get another multi-hit move. Fury Swipe. Wait, that does 18? What? Is that in official Pokemon games too? It does 18 damage? That's so random. I mean, I guess? No, actually, I should have just kept Scratch. You gotta hit three. Well, I guess, like, two end up quarter Fury Swipes to equal one Scratch. And I saw it also has, like, pretty bad accuracy, so... Uh, it's too late now, but her final Pokemon will be... A Stuffle! That's not great. Uh, that is a normal and fighting type, though, so... Uh, at least this is super effective, and if we get... Okay, of course. We only get two hits. It's gathering energy. Wait, what? Is revenge different in this game, too? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> well, we crit it, and it's dead. Nice. Very cool stuff from the first gym leader there. We just absolutely clap her. Like, we literally could have not lost a single Pokemon if I just switched into Drillbur on Pikachu's Thundershock, but whatever. We did it! What an amazing battle. And for this memorable battle, I give you the Sakura Badge. Your first badge in the Ingram Gyms. Oh my god. Bro, <laughs> sound effect was a little loud. That scared me. And also for winning, I'm giving you this as well, which I'm sure you'll like. A Poke Ride Scyther. Allows cutting obstacles. Ah, we know exactly where to use that. See that weird gadget? Well, now it's all yours. It's a high-tech gadget that you used to call to a Pokemon to assist on your journey. The one I gave you is for calling Scyther. Scyther will help you by cutting obstacles blocking your path. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is pretty sick. It can't be used in battles or be on your team. Think of them as superheroes who come to help just in time. For now, you can only call Scyther, but later on, you'll likely have many of them. And you can count on them to help. I'm also going to give you this, of course! Definitely going to teach that to our Eevee. Actually, I saw a little Eevee had a heart there. And with that all said, I hope you have a great journey, Ariel, and don't doubt that we'll meet again when you're stronger. I want a rematch! That's the spirit! Alright! Time to cut to the chase! These are pretty cool though, these like infographics that pop up here and there. I mean, I've been saying, like, the graphics in this game are probably my personal favorite part. Like, look at this, bro. You can even see, like, a blurry background there of the city. That's so sick. I love it. You got anything else to say, though? Oh, yeah, okay. So, she wants a rematch when we're stronger. Again, uh, that'll come in a future beta, I'm guessing. 